What's going on you guys, Clint here. Welcome back to the channel of CoCommerce and welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. So this is just a high level overview on how to use Material inside of React and all kind of the, the capabilities that it has. So in this video specifically, we're gonna be going over the table component. So it gives us a nice example of some, like maybe some supplement facts, nutritional facts on a food label. Also a list in here that you could use for like a, um, maybe a username list, a users list, something like that. You maybe some products uh, on a database side. So this is pretty cool. Um, and Material UI is gonna format all of this for us. And I'm gonna show you how to configure it from scratch. Okay, so if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and jump in here. So I'm already in VS Code. Um, what I'm gonna do is go inside my data display folder here. Um, you can call this wherever you want. I'm just, I'm just uh, keeping it kind of clean this way, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new file. I'm gonna call this table example.jsx. Then RFC is just gonna generate our functional component here. And let's just bring this one in. So table example. So what you need to do first, if you haven't installed, uh, I'm using VJS. If you want to use React Next, uh, any of the React libraries, that's fine. Um, again, I'm just using VJS. So really, really easy to install. Just check out vjs.dev, follow the steps. And then for as far as Material UI, I'll put a link down in the description below to install Material UI. So, all right. So let's go ahead and go into our table example. So you can see, we just have some blank text in there. So let's have a look here. So um, Material UI is awesome, you guys. Uh, it's a, just a component library inside of React that allows us to create these components incredibly fast, um, just kind of limiting the, the dev time required. So to have something like this, they call it a basic table, this would be somewhat of a pain to write in just plain CSS and style. Like it would take a little bit of time, not impossible, it would just take a little bit of time, even for senior devs. So let's go ahead and copy this over. I'm just gonna show you how quick it is just by copying and pasting some code directly from their site. So we'll see, um, we're gonna need this rows array and also create data. And I'm gonna paste this in just below my imports. Next, I'm just gonna copy this over here, this table container. Let's scroll down, there we go. Grab that again, this table container. And I'll just paste that in here, just like that. We'll go ahead and save, had a little space in there for us. And let's have a look at what it has there. So just like that, you guys, uh, without any customization, any configuring, literally just copying and pasting, we have this table that is just ready to go. Um, right now we have everything hard-coded from this rows array. If you wanna be pulling this in from a some sort of database, then you can do that as well with like a use effect. Um, if you wanna copy this down, say create data, you can add another one in here. We'll say, um, oh yeah, protein shake. There we go, <laughs> there we go. Uh, calories, we'll say, what was that? Yeah, calories 110. Fat, we'll say one. Can't even see where I'm typing there with that overlay. Uh, next is gonna be uh, carbs, we'll say two. Protein, 25, okay, just see how we can add another thing there. Protein shake, 110 calories, one fat, two carbs, 25 grams of protein. Look at that, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we can do. Um, data table here, uh, if you were to use some sort of like users, okay? So let's go ahead and have a look at that. And let's see, looks like using data grid, we might have to install this here. So let's see, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this for the time being. And I think we're gonna need to install this, if I'm not mistaken, that's fine. Data grid component is designed. We'll figure it out when we get there. So let's scroll down. I'm gonna grab this columns here. Yep, it's already having problems with that, not to worry. We'll figure that out. Let's go ahead and paste this in here. And let's see, we have our rows. We're gonna need this one. So we'll grab our rows. And then we'll grab this div, just like that. And I'm gonna paste that in there. I'll leave it kind of nested in there, the other div for uh, the sake of the next examples. Um, Let's have a look at the error we're getting. Probably this data grid. So I'm just gonna copy that. And hopefully this is just as simple as 
npmi at mui slash x dash data dash grid. Let's see if that solves it. Okay, looks like it did. npm run dev, start our development server back up. And uh, there you go. Perfect, that looks good. So again, you guys imagine trying to code this out from scratch, something that's responsive. Uh, check it out on a mobile device. This would be, in, no, I would say incredibly difficult, but it would be time consuming to say the least, okay? Even for uh, a senior developer. So that's pretty cool. Um, and again, we're just, we just have this data hard coded in here. Um, if you want to add, um, pull it from some sort of backend, you can do that as well. Um, looks like we're paginating as well. So I'm gonna add this in, we'll say Clint, uh, that's the last name, we'll say B. Clint, you guess my age, I am 36. So, um, and this is just paginating right here, right? So we can see the top five, you can paginate to the next. There we go, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what else you can do. You can probably change the amount of time or amount of results shown that you can want to paginate through. So all sorts of cool things here. Um, yeah, page size, five and 10. If you wanted to change this, um, looks like one through five of 10. Change that to two, for example. I'm not sure why you'd wanna do that. I probably don't wanna do that. Page size, there we go. Not sure why you'd wanna do that. You're not gonna to wanna to do that, but there you go. You can kind of paginate. Now you can see we have a ton of pages that we have to paginate through if you're just only um, going through multiples of, of two. So kind of cool. You can change in some style properties. This is the height, uh, we're at 400. You know, you can change in, um, it might be a little bit high, but you can, and I am zoomed in a little bit, but you can change uh, all these um, as well. So that's pretty cool. Give it a refresh there. So pretty nice there. I'll change it back to 400, change the width. Uh, let's see what else we can do. So this is a dense table. I think it's just a, a dense uh, attribute here being passed in. Got label at dense. Let's see what else. This would be like a nutritional fact label. Again, that's kind of cool. We did something like that where you can actually select them because this one you couldn't select them. Let's see. With that, this one, yeah, you can select these. That's nice. Uh, customization, here's an example, customizing the component. You can learn more about this in the overview. Custom pagination actions. If you're gonna roll through like by fives, tens, that's kind of cool. You can just pass that in. And again, you can just copy over and paste this, you guys. I'm not gonna do that one, but literally just as easy as copying and pasting. This is showing one with a sticky header that's scrollable. Um, Customized grouping, collapsible table, that's kind of cool. Let's see, spanning table, let's do one of these, spanning table, that one's ugly. <laughs> let's do, let's scroll up some sticky header. Let's do that sticky header, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna open this up. Um, I'm gonna copy these over, I don't know if they're the same. Um, yeah, we'll paste that in there. Uh, columns, let's just replace all these columns. Value, there we go. Let's see, we have any rows, no rows. Oh, yep, we do. I'm gonna create that here. Create data, and let's grab our rows. All right. Again, you guys, copying and pasting, it's, I mean, didn't get much easier than this. You gotta love Material UI. So it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of state in here. So page, set page, rows per page, just state that we're being passed in. Uh, handle, change page, handle, change rows per page. And let's just copy this paper. It looks like we're gonna map through everything. Let's see, we'll paste this in here. Leave that outer div there. So again, looks like we're just mapping through um, the columns here. So mapping through the columns, which is just an array, which we're able to map through. And then of course, mapping through uh, the rows as well. 
So let's have a look, refresh if we have any errors. No errors. Pretty cool. If we can scroll, you can see we now have the sticky header. We can paginate through these things. We have, it looks like we have 15. So again, you guys, this is pretty awesome. Again, this would take quite a while if you're coding it out from scratch in CSS. Um, but if you want to incorporate this in some sort of dashboard, I know those are pretty popular videos. Perhaps I'll make another one in the future, just going over uh, dashboards and React. Uh, and you can use some material UI to display some information really beautifully on the screen with uh, minimal effort. So, and nobody cares if you can code this from scratch, if you took two days to write this, nobody cares about that. When it looks the same, probably if not better, uh, just copying and pasting from material UI. So I think that wraps up the uh, table element here and material UI. Next up, I'm gonna be going over the tooltip. So smash the like button, I'll see you on this next one.